My name is Miss Desiree. And I'm Miss Tara. And we are in week three of mm -hmm. our road trip series. And you might be wondering, are we there yet? <laughs> the answer is almost. Okay. As much as I love road trips, when I have been on the road for a long time, I start <laughs> to get eager to get out of yeah. the vehicle. I might become bored with being stuck in the car and it makes a big difference who is in the car with me. Yeah. Do I have room to stretch out or are we all like packed in like sardines? This has me thinking of the perfect road trip oh, yeah. vehicle. Yeah. So we were thinking about this. Yeah. So now, I thought here we go. It. Are you ready for this? This is Miss Tara's perfect yeah. road trip vehicle and she's going to tell us why. And I'll show you why. I just recently went on a road trip with my two girls and our mm -hmm. dog. Mm -hmm. and. Yeah, we were always going, are we there yet? So, we have got separate doors for each of the girls. Uh -huh. And they go into their own little rooms that have vending machines. Oh, it's, it's got okay. water for them. Mm -hmm. And it's got a little bell that they can ring for us if they need to make a stop to use Ooh, the I washroom. Like it's perfect. I like that. It's got Wi-Fi. Uh -huh. And we put I put wings on it because in case there's an accident mm -hmm. and your kid really has to use the washroom or something. Oh, or we that's really, like, smart. We've all had to do that. Then you can just fly over the traffic mm -hmm. and get to the next town or I get home it. faster. I love it. Yep. So good. <laughs> Pause the video and make your own version yep. of a perfect road trip vehicle. Yeah. Be creative. But here's your only rule. Leave the wheels mm -hmm. off the vehicle for now. Yeah. And make sure you draw your family inside that yeah. vehicle. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'm sure that you all did really cool work. Mm -hmm. Did you know that every single person in the world has a unique thumbprint? Mm -hmm. That's right. There's no one in this whole world that has a thumbprint like yours. Yep. Or like mine, That's right. or like yours. Now we're gonna do something. Yep. Okay, we're gonna Ms. take Sarah, a marker. You're gonna take a marker. With your parents' help. With a, a washable. Washable marker. marker. And you're gonna color, color on your thumbprint. Thumb. And then remember how we said that you didn't have to put wheels on your vehicle? No wheels. This is going to be your wheels. So, so you're stick gonna that stick thumbprint down it right as a wheel. down. And, and we're gonna do, do it one again. More. One more. Here we go. See if we can get and it we're to We're gonna go show again. you what it looks like. And we got a second wheel. There we oh, go. Oh, here we go. We got thumbprint wheels. See, and these thumbprint wheels are yeah. here to remind us that although we're different from each other, mm -hmm. we are all one family of God. Mm -hmm. We're on the road for week three of our virtual road trip to yeah. hear more about the Ten Commandments and or rules God wants us to live by. Mm -hmm. These are the first four we talked about so far. Okay. Are you ready? We're going to review. Yeah, we're ready. Okay, Let's go. Go, go back. <laughs> Put God first. First. No idols. No idols. So worship God only. Yeah. Respect God's name. Let's respect it. And worship and rest on God's mm, day. That's a good one. Next up, okay. we have commandments five, six, and seven. Okay. Each let's go. of these commandments are about loving people, mm. especially our families. Okay. I'm curious, what is one activity you like to do with your family? I really enjoy, actually, now that it's summer, playing baseball in the backyard oh. with my boys because they love it. That, that or having a fun. giant water balloon fight. Yeah. It's a toss up. That yeah. sounds fun. So, spending time with our families can be really fun. We can create some special memories mm -hmm. with them that can last a long time. Okay. And spending time together is a great way to show how much that we love mm -hmm. them. Exodus 20, 12 to 14, and mm -hmm. Matthew 5, 21 to 24 mm -hmm. are commandments about honoring our parents yeah. and others and making sure that we do not hurt others or hold judgment or anger towards others. Yeah. We can show our love to our parents and other grown-ups who take care of us by listening to their advice yep. and treating them with love and kindness. Yep. They want what's best for us, so obeying them would be wise a wise, wise thing to do. That's right. It would be. We can show our love to our siblings mm -hmm. and other family members by not filling ourselves with negative emotions yeah. towards them. It's understandable to get frustrated and annoyed mm. sometimes. It happens. It happens It's to okay to feel yeah. hurt. But God doesn't want us to stay that yeah. way because it is more harmful to us than it is to them. It yeah. actually hurts us inside. But we can ask God to show us how to love them mm -hmm. like he does and make things right with the people who upset us. Yeah. We can also show love to people we make commitments to, mm -hmm. like when people get married and they keep the promises we make to them. Yeah. Our families aren't perfect, 
but God loves each of our family members anyway, and we can do the same. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm understanding, mm -hmm. and I'm ready to continue on our road trip. I've got my road trip bag, your bag. right here. You brought it. And, oh no. What? I forgot my toothbrush. No! Oh, can, can I borrow yours? No! No! no. Is that gross? That's kind of disgusting. What if we were family, though? Mm. Is that still gross? That's still gross. Oh, uh, and speaking of family, look what I found in my bag again. Today's big idea. We obey God by loving our families. That's right. It isn't always easy, but it's what God wants us to do. That's right. Why do you think loving your family is so important to God? Pause the video mm -hmm. and share your idea. God wants us to treat people with kindness, yeah. love, and respect, which basically sums up the three commandments we've heard about today. When we aren't kind, loving, and respectful, mm -hmm. it's hurtful. Yeah. God wants us to love people the way he loves us. Mm -hmm. It's not always easy to love others, especially when they hurt our feelings, <laughs> yeah. make us angry, but it's important for us to learn how to get along and love each other the way God mm -hmm. asks us to. We can love our families by putting love into action. Yep. That means the way we act shows love, yep. kindness, and respect. When we think about our families, hopefully we can see how they show us they love us with their words mm -hmm. and their actions. How has your family shown you love recently? And what are some things we do that are not loving <laughs> toward our families? Yeah. <laughs> Pause the video and have a conversation with your family. It's important to look at the ways we are really good at loving each other and mm -hmm. also the ways that we aren't so that we can know how to obey God mm -hmm. by loving our families. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit more about how we can do that. Mm -hmm. When we love our families, we show it. We put our love into action. action. This might mean doing the dishes Ooh. when we said we would or staying out of our siblings' room because they have asked us to. Hmm. It also might look like spending time with our family doing an activity that maybe we didn't want to do, like playing dolls or building Lego, when we could be, have, could be doing something else. Mm -hmm. It also might look like giving our family members a hug yeah. or telling them how much we love them. So important. Mm -hmm. I love how many ways we can put love into action. So much. Okay, before closing for the day, let's look at our memory verse. Yeah. I will say a line, and then you repeat after me. Got Are it. you ready? We're ready. Here we go. Love the Lord your God. Love the Lord your God. With all your heart. With all your heart. With all your soul. With all your soul. With all your strength. With all your strength. With all your mind. With all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. And love your neighbor as yourself. Luke 10, 27. Luke 10, 27. Okay, friends, let's pray. Mm -hmm. Dear God, thank you for each person in my family. Mm -hmm. Loving my family isn't always easy, but help me to love each person with my words and with my actions. Mm -hmm. Help me to remember that we obey you when we do that. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. See you later, Bye, guys. Friends.